Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, it will be ending support for Windows 10 officially on the 14th of October 2025. Now, just a quick heads up that today we find ourselves on the 14th of October 2024, which means that there is just one year left of support and security updates before Microsoft discontinues and end support and ends the so-called life of the Windows 10 operating system. So just a year reminder to give you a heads up if you do find yourself on Windows 10. Now the purpose of this video is just to inform you regarding that one year left of free support because I have posted a whole playlist on the channel. It's on the home page. I'll also leave it linked in the end screen regarding the end of Windows 10. And there's quite a lot of content in here. There's a good couple of videos. So if you want some alternatives uh, when it comes to Windows 10 end of support, tips for using Windows 10 securely after support ends and so on, go check this playlist out. I think it'll give you the information you would need. Now, just a bit of a kind of recap here. Windows 10, as you may well know, was released in July of 2015. So when support does end next year, uh, in exactly a year's time, it will be just over a decade old when support will finally end. And that support on the 14th of October 2025 will be falling on the patch Tuesday of that month. So that means after the 14th, you will no longer get any um security and quality updates through Windows Update. And if you are like me and your Windows 10 device does not meet the system requirements to run Windows 11, then as mentioned, you'll have to make a plan and be that stain on Windows 10 unsupported or uh, paying for the, um, the extended security updates program, which Microsoft is making a subscription, which has caused a bit of debate, or moving on to a Linux distro or just stain on Windows 10, which I'm going to do because obviously I think I'm still going to be making a lot of videos regarding Windows 10 after the 14th of October next year, 2025. Now, just some interesting information. The Windows 10 May 2020 feature update was the last update to actually roll out core platform updates before Microsoft introduced Windows 11. And Microsoft has released three new versions of Windows, but they've all been uh, based on Windows 11, as you may well know, because Windows 10 now in Microsoft's eyes is so-called becoming um, what they would say a legacy OS, because if you are running the latest version of Windows 10, which is version 22H2, which according to Microsoft will be the final version of Windows 10, you're basically running a core Windows platform release that's coming up to almost half a decade old. So um, that could be a reason why Microsoft is moving on. But nonetheless, this has caused a lot of debate. And uh, one of the videos I did post recently was Microsoft is wanting to fill up landfalls a lot quicker with the end of support of Windows 10. Because as I mentioned, this is a perfectly good PC. Although it can't run Windows 11, it's a perfectly um, good operating system for what I needed for this channel. I don't need anything more than what I've got on here for Windows 10 for the purposes of my everyday. And I know there's a lot of users who fall into the same category. So I um, just wanted to give you that heads up in one year's time, exact, exactly today on the 14th of October, 2024, sorry, 2025, um, Microsoft will be officially ending support um, for Windows 10. And it's gonna be interesting to see how the next year pans out because I've personally said I don't feel Microsoft will, but as um, Windows Central has said, they did it for Windows XP, they did it for Windows 7, and it's also gonna happen with Windows 10. So inevitably, um, Microsoft will eventually end full support, be that next year on the 14th of October or sometime after that, but officially support will end because it has ha happened with other key OSs of the Windows OS. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.